G'day! In today's video, I'm just talking about usually one of the more common faults I see on an iPhone in general. This particular one here, I believe, is an iPhone 8 or an SE. Uh, if I look at the, the battery model, that would tell me for, sh for certain from there. Or even looking at here, I would assume it's an 8. Righto, with well, it being an 8, the two most common faults I normally see is the charging port. And with a little bit of experience and a very fine tipped tweezers, Usually, this can be cleaned out relatively easily and kept going probably about 70% of the time without the need to replace the charging port. The next most common fault that I see is the microphone, which tends to fail. Um, usually, if you're getting like weird static noises, if you've already cleaned the grill and this area here, you can proceed and do a full, a full mainboard swap, or not mainboard, full charger assembly swap, which would involve taking out all these components here it takes a fair bit of time. What I've been doing lately is removing most of the stuff around here and using a hot air gun just to remove the microphone itself off the piece of the flex cable. I use a quick, was it a quick 861DW, uh, about 300 degrees, it flow at about 80, and that usually heats it up quick enough that it doesn't really damage any, any other component around here. And it, and it saves a considerable amount of time disassembling and reassembling the phone to only find out that the replacement part has a faulty microphone or a dud charger or sub-quality parts. At least if all we're swapping with a faulty phone is the microphone, when it's the microphone, we know the rest of it's going to be perfectly fine. So at the minute I've got the battery disconnected. I'll just wedge something under here and I'll just quickly show you how easy it is to take this off. Now, just adjusted my temperature, and now I apply some heat, there we go, old one off, get that on there. As you can see there's really not much to it if my camera will focus on it. There we go. So we can see we have six solder points and then this circle which the circle is for I'm not actually too sure how to describe it as I don't know how truly how microphones work but essentially that's the circle that make a seal so the audio or the sound that comes in goes into it then I'm assuming it converts it to a, dig anal or a digital sound using these six pads. So, very like that was 300 degrees Celsius at 80 flow. That could easily be turned down to something probably a little bit safer. Probably, let's say, turn it down to about 20, or sorry, about 200 degrees at 80 flow, or 300 at 60, something a bit less. I'll probably do that when I reattach it. I've already got my donor one over here. And I'm not sure how interchangeable they are, but this one here is off another iPhone 8. Um, there we go. I've left the temperature at 300 degrees, and I've turned the turned the flow to 50. Look at this. Make sure it's the correct orientation. There we go. Now, I'll try and avoid getting my head in the photo, but I think it's going to be a struggle, especially with it not being optimal. And here. there we go. There we go. All going well. We should be attached. The bottom of the phone is rather warm. 
can choose to remove the battery if you like, but I feel like with the amount of heat that gets used in that area, it's still relatively low that it shouldn't be a risk for the battery. So that should be just a quick swap of it. I'll give it a try out once it cools down. I've got a couple other jobs to do first, but I'll get back into this one just shortly. You guys won't see the other jobs, of course. But that is just one method to potentially save a whole bunch of drama where I found that a lot, quite a lot of charging ports I've come across lately have either faulty microphones or the charging port's still broken on the new one, which is just crap. If we can leave the quality of the rest of the charging circuit, the charging cable in there, and only replace the microphone that is the faulty component, then that's going to save a lot of time, save a lot of hassle swapping over charging ports that may or may not be faulty. And even still, if you install the new charging cable and the new microphone on the new charging cable that you purchased is faulty. So this method, being it's only six solder points and a circle, it's pretty basic. Most people should be able to do it with a hot air station. Or at least most people that work in the phone repair industry and have used a soldering iron and hot air station before. If you can replace a USB jack on a device with a hot air station, you should be able to replace this microphone. One phone partially reassembled, bottom section in. And as you can see, the microphone is working perfectly fine. Perfectly fine, 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 fine. And as you can see, the microphone is working perfectly fine. Perfectly fine, 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 fine. Excellent. And that's one way to save a little bit of time on the repair while still retaining quality parts in the phone. Hope that helps and see you later. Bye.